So welcome back to the hustle. Make sure you can edit. We don't even need any of that because I want you to just come on with the shit, rapping. But so as we stayed outside, I was rapping with y'all too, man. Uh, once again, I got my man Brian on my right, my man Nate on my left. Uh, these are two very good barbers in the Maryland, Oxen Hill, St. Barnabas, motherfucking Temple Hills, the fucking world. This <laughs> is just where them niggas started at, but now, uh, if they think about it, like the work that they've done is, has actually touched other places because you gotta think about it, your work leaves on a person, so when that person leaves, wherever they go, they're wearing their shit, so you know. I mean, it's just, just me in general, I mean, I'm not even the biggest client that you have, but I'm a nigga that goes everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wearing your product everywhere that I go. Oh, his hair, his face looks nice, et cetera, et cetera. Just Brian's with me, you know what I'm saying? So most of the time people only see that though. They only see that you cut NBA niggas hair, you know what I'm saying? They only see the type of clientele that you two have, but they don't know about how you got to having that type of clientele. And I don't do this show, we don't do the hustle to for the Hollywood shit. Gotcha. That, that's irrelevant because you can get that on TV. Gotcha. So, I want the people that watch this shit to get something from it. That's why it's so raw. I want it to be so real. And because you started before him, what I want to do is, in this, all right, <clears throat> on this episode is, use your timeline and put you in his timeline because they go together. Oh, I got it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Y'all's story is the, technically is the same. same. Right, yeah. So because of that, since you started basically 10 years before he did, as you begin to progress in your story, you will actually introduce Nate. Okay. Because that's how it happened in real life. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Because I only care about the cut the cutting part, the did you have to go here, what you have to do, or how long you had to stand next to somebody else to learn how to cut if you didn't go to school, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna start with that. I wanna just get into the beginning. Like the beginning? Yeah, go to when the first time you picked up a pair of clippers. First time. And wow. how once you figured out you started to love it. To, Where'd you go from there? You know what I'm uh, How'd that work? First pair of clippers, my father gave me a set. Um, remember like it was yesterday a little bit. Cause yeah. I was like, man, I'm trying to work at McDonald's. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Niggas well, who? I'm like, with my, yeah, I'm like with my, with my, with my best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, no, he didn't say McDonald's. It was a, it was a place called uh, Antonio's around that way. It was like a pizza okay. set around, but. Okay. He was like, you ain't working at no McDonald's. Yeah. But it was something like McDonald's, fast food yeah. drink. Yeah. He was like, nah, you gonna cut hair. So I he made me start cutting hair. And um, after that, it was history. It was like, yeah. I wasn't making no money. Yeah. Biden was throwing me money on the side, like, keep me, keep me both yeah. motivated. Yeah. Like, hey, young, don't worry about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, my brothers was dead. Well, one of my brothers was dead. And um, my brother, Mark. Yeah. And he came a police officer. Okay. But then my cousin Eric came from Georgia and me and him started cutting together. Okay. Um that was a that was a long process because he left. You know what I'm saying? So uh, okay. all, everybody, you know what I'm saying, left the barber shop all because they didn't want to do it no more mm -hmm. in that barber shop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was a little bit Little conflict. Yeah, whatever that was. Whatever that yeah, was, yeah. that was over with. But I stayed because I'm a loyal dude, so Whatever I do, I'm rocking with you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My father, he, like, he threw me money to yeah. keep me motivated, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to the whole game. And then when this, once my brother and him left, it was all me. Yeah. But I wasn't where I wanted to be. Like, I was just going through the motions, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I was like, when I said I told him uh -huh. or was trying to teach him, I was teaching the best way I knew. I and as he you. learned, I learned more. Because okay. I seen it. It's like I seen it. Like, he... he he sees it, yeah. but he might once he gets to eighteen, he's gonna see it even more. That's yeah. like when you playing basketball. Yeah. You in high school, if you get to the NBA, the game different. slows down. Yeah, absolutely. You see the game differently. I see the game different. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So you telling me that, if I'm understanding you correctly, <clears throat> as you as you began, you began to grow more once you were able to visualize what you were. Because basically, even when you cut ahead, it right. sounds like early on you couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. But if you teach somebody else and then you look at somebody else, that's that's your work, it's technically. You know what I mean? Like your version, Nate is attempting to do uh, his version of Brian until it becomes Nate. Because that's what it is. Because he don't know. Basically. Okay. In the beginning. 
the in the beginning. beginning. That's what I'm saying. Early. That's that's what we talked about. Yeah. Just the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah. Then after that, it's like um, from there, my brother and them left, and I was the only person in it. Me and my cousin, that he had rolled out. Okay. It's me and my father. I kept on asking. I was like, Nick, man, let your mother say you can come. Cause <laughs> his mother wasn't like, trying to let him come to the shop. Word I was up. like, Nick, you got to young. I need you, like. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, my cousin Dirk, he was all right, but he worked for UPS. Okay, so he was always yeah, in and out. It wasn't for real. Basically. Basically. Okay. We had a full shop at one time, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was family oriented. So I got my clientele off my father referring people to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Got my clientele by people walking through the door. It's all about for real, for real. It's about relationship. There you go. You build a good relationship with your with your client. Sometimes the, the haircut is the first two, three haircuts, they be like, yeah. And then after that, they go, like, I don't need to see the mirror. But if you fuck up, yeah. they'll tell you, right. oh <laughs> man, you did this last time. I'm like, you ain't never did that before. Yeah. Because you do the same process over oh, and over again. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because cutting hair ain't nothing but a it's repetition. repetition. It's repetition. Right. Okay. Do the same thing. One thing you do on one side, you do on the other side. So, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing, and for the people that's listening and watching as well, I'm hearing that, and all this, discussion that you brought up, right. you rarely discuss any techniques in regards to cutting hair. Oh, okay. But I'm, the reason why I'm glad and I want people to understand is that that is what it's going to be. Like, once you learn how to cut hair, you know how to. So your clientele ain't growing and, and this is what you and I used to talk about. Right. Your clientele isn't growing because oh, my techniques are, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, because those techniques are in the exact same book that he can go learn from. Right. So what's separating Brian and Nate from everybody else is the customer service and the relationship. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's what the people watching need to understand because there's all type of entrepreneurs. Everybody that's watching is not a barber. You see what I'm saying? So they may not be able to connect to, oh, well, I do a fade this way. Mm -hmm. But if they understand that, nah, my man's was down one time, I had a couple extra dollars and I looked out and I just so happened to be his barber too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Then that man knows he's judging you off of your character. Oh, Brian's a good nigga, right. and then he cuts my hair. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. And that so it's not really about you cutting. It's mm -hmm. more so about the relationship that you have. So, but you still gotta have some skill. No, of course, of oh, course. Right. And I'm not trying not to tell you. It's just that with the hustle, you wasn't always this good. No. So you can't. That's the thing. And people have to keep that in consideration. You were you weren't always this good. No, no. If you were always this good. It'd be a different conversation. Right? But because you had to grow, which everybody does. Everybody does. So since you had to grow, then what we trying to make sure we get across is that early on you don't have all the skills to depend on. You right, see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You right. have to work at it. Gotta work. Let them know about that. Like tell them about the hours and time oh, that man, you put the out hours, man. I before going exactly. To my, all right, I remember going to my friend's house, cutting their head for free. Okay. I remember one time I messed my homeboy hair up in my at, at, at my parents' house. My brother had to fix it. <laughs> Took his fade up too high, bro. <laughs> my brother wasn't there. Like, yeah, I was done. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be just like my brother, dog. Okay. okay. Like my brother was my, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're That's, yeah, okay. my wrong. Mount Rushmore, okay. my father, my brother. Yeah. Like everybody went to them. Yeah, yeah. I said, nah, dog. They gotta come home. They gotta, nah. Yeah. I, I, I remember when people said, you never be better than your brother. Mm -hmm. In my head, I said, oh man, that's more fuel for me to be great. Yeah. And then the people yeah. who said I wasn't gonna be great, yeah. they couldn't get back in my chair once I got there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I heard you mention when we earlier we were talking, you, you referred to Nate. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna cross over to you. Somebody. I'm gonna cross over to you because. I came in the game when you was still trying to figure it out, so I never was able to stop and ask you because the situation was different. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a situation now where I can like rap with me about what that process was like, even though it was toward the end of it, because that was what three, two years ago. Was it like? Maybe two, two. So probably about two years ago. Two years ago. So I want to know about when he introduced you to it. Why did you why like why did you stick with it or, or what was the connection between I want to know why did you continue to stick with Barbara because I'm sure you could have done anything else I know you could have it doesn't matter what it was you know what I mean you could have just been doing something else so why like why Barbara what happened uh, when I was in school like I always did art oh okay. art was always my thing like I used to get put on punishment for little stupid shit you know around the house you know, okay I'd be in my room for like a couple hours you know it was either read a book or draw. 
Oh. And I wasn't no reader. Fuck that book. You feel me? So I was like, fuck the book. I'm in the jungle drawing, you know, Dragon Ball Z and shit. So it's like, you know, just art just really just made me want to start cutting hair because I looked at it as a form of art. So, and then, like you said, Brock was his inspiration, his Mount Rushmore. You know, he was my Mount Rushmore. You feel me? Like, it was like, Almost like whatever he did, it was like, man, fuck it, that's what I want to do. You feel me? Like, uh, he was like the older brother I never had, so. Uh, I was the oldest in my family, so, you know. It was like more so natural with me just looking up to him, like he my next cousin. Yeah. So. Okay, so you, so, first off, that's, that speaks to two things. First off, niggas who out here doing shit that you probably shouldn't be doing. Right. You never know who's watching. Right, so right. So, grown ass man that just admitted that that's what he was doing as a child, so. Mm-hmm. That goes to show that we uh, we do watch our surroundings, long story right, short, right, right. and you got to pay attention to what you're doing. So, luckily, you had a positive, a positive thing to look up to. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. It don't matter. This is for all the stupid people that watch this. It don't right. matter how we dress, how we move. Right. You never know. As long as that one of us is doing something progressive, which he was at the time, that was instilled to him by his father. He passed down to somebody else. So any information that you're giving to your kids out there, give them some good shit to listen to. Because they gonna pass, they listening, trust me. They got no damn choice. Mm-hmm. So back to you. Um, now I wanna know, fuck all of the glory. <laughs> and Brian was this, that, and the fifth. Right, right, I wanna right. know about you in the field. Like, <laughs> how was it for you coming out? Like getting started, et cetera, et cetera. Let them know, the, the nitty gritty. Let them know what it's like out here. I mean, starting out, it was cool because, like you said, the art, you know, kind of kicked in. So it was like I seen certain stuff that I probably wouldn't have seen if I didn't do art in the beginning. So once okay. I started picking up certain things and just start adding it to my repertoire and then just seeing, you know, other stuff, it was kind of easy. And I say it was easy, like, oh, man, fuck, I'm the, it was, you know, it got easier towards oh. then, you know, okay. where I'm at now. So it was just like in the beginning, my whole thing was the test part. Mm. Like, I was scared to test. I built the test to be up some you know, some bullshit, like some shit that I was supposed to be scared of or something. Yeah, so nah. it was like, once I got past that, it was like, everything just became easier. Yeah. So it was just the book work more so, because like I said, I was never a reader for real. Like, you uh, faced your fears. You know, I faced my facts, fears, facts. you know, it just, you know. <laughs> once I got it together, it was just like, you know, it got better. Whenever you face your fears, everything's always easy. It's just trying to get to the top of the mountain, right. you right. Yeah, right. yeah. When right. I passed my test, I passed on the first go. Yeah. Because my cousin, Eric, just like you, I ain't like doing a lot of book work right. either, but I yeah. passed it though. You know what I'm saying? I don't but have too many niggas like doing a lot of book work though. No. I, yeah, no. No. I mean, I just keep it in a book. But at the same time, I read more now than I ever did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got my master's. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kept on fighting. I was like, I cannot do this. You know what? I was like, dog, I'm reading the textbook. Yeah. Read the textbook, went back, boom, passed that jump. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you got to push yourself to something. There's some stuff in there. You're like, oh, man, what? Oh, I'm back to school again. Yeah. But, yeah, you're learning every day. Like, you can't be scared of school. You get schooled every day. You just ain't reading. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is it safe to say that because, like, the world that we live in now, right? Because, see, back then, it's a fact. When all of us were younger. Without social media, we're influenced by so many different things now that could be negative or positive, right? So because of social media, a lot of like people are more on some let's be progressive shit, et cetera, et cetera. But it wasn't like that when we was no, kids. No, see the young Because you didn't have access to that. You know, all y'all saw was what? Niggas was what niggas was doing around here, right? The young generation like now, because of the IG mm-hmm. is it's easier access to get them cut that clientele. Like if you ain't have a name buzzing on the street. That's why I wanted on to talk to y'all. Exactly. Man, like my name buzz up and down St. Bombers Road. Hey, like, you don't even do much on nah, the street. Nah, but that's why I came. I was there for 18 years. I had some people who ain't got my number. I lost a lot of money moving over here, mm-hmm. but I'm cool with that because yeah. I was smart. I saved money. Mm-hmm. So I could make a move. Mm-hmm. I ain't, and then my father was like, hey, don't have no kids. Yeah. So I can move a little bit different. Okay. This right here is my first major move ever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I've been in that barber shop, same chair. No, I, I moved twice. Yeah. I was by my father when I moved to that but chair. You've been in that same, same, that same building. No, right? I seen this young. Know, it, it felt like Groundhog's Day. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up, same thing. Wake up. Same, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go to work, see the same Crazy. people. You know what I'm saying? So when I came over here for one year, for the one year, I only, it still feel like I'm, like it's still like I just started here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm starting to get comfortable with the people, but I'm like, some people I ain't seen in a long time. Yeah. Like I remember cutting Glenn Harris head. Like my father threw him on. Yeah. 
Yeah. Trying to wait. I'm like, dang, he going to the news, man. My head. He was like, you always say, young, you just wanted the best ball. I'm like, I'm not that good, bro. Like, you sizing me for what kind of reason? Yeah. But I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I do cut celebrities or people that are at high stand, I know how to conduct business with them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I don't go in that joint. Oh, yeah, what's up? Yeah. Hey, what's yeah. up, man? You yeah. need, need. Yeah. I'm here to give you some service, man. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah. We, we, we want to cut this head. Yeah. Casual conversation, yeah. doing business on the regular. Business. Exactly. Okay. In and out. In and out. That's right. So, I'm going to go back to Nate because Nate's the, the younger one. And <laughs> Nate, <laughs> Nate was able to get, and it's going, it may put you on the spot a little bit, but it's not bad. Like, it may put you on the spot in a bad way. But because you are younger than B, mm. you've had the ability to take advantage of social media right, right. now nah, so the good thing is that you haven't from what i know you haven't had to to establish who you are mm -hmm. you already like sort of like brian you know what i mean you have your version of not needing social media to right. get your paper off right. so i want to know have you like you know had you been using social media at all i really started using social media when i came over here though oh okay like, okay posting more like at first like people from school and you know like like you said you go over Oxford Hill side for 18 years. I was there out of the eight years, I've been cutting for six. Yeah, so it's oh, like, yeah. I God guarantee damn, okay. you, if I go on St. Barnabas Road now and stop at a gas station, I'm going to see somebody I know. Yeah. If I go around Oxford Hill, I'm going to see somebody I know. You feel okay. me? Like, it's like, once you just, like, like once I came over here, it's like in a new environment. Okay. So it's like, I feel like I got to put myself out there even more because I'm not from here. Okay. Like, you know, I'm from here, but I've never been on this side. So, yeah. Ah, but, I see what you're saying. So it's like, you know, so when y'all was younger, when y'all lived, y'all niggas wasn't in this, this one where y'all ran at? Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm from here, like, I'm from why? this side, oh, okay, but it's okay. like, people over here on this side don't know me for cutting eggs. Ah, okay, like, okay, like, okay, like, okay, 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 okay. Oh, my bad, if I put a bob shop or do something for Washington, mm -hmm. I got a lot of, I went to school over that area. So okay, uh, people so coming in, yeah. So you're you know, telling me that like 10 to 15 miles is that important, huh? Yeah, so yeah. To some people it is. You might be on somebody else's territory for real. For ah, like somebody else okay. maybe a better, okay. like a more real established bottle. Yeah. And I say better because you never know. No, nah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But they may have this side, you know, sewed up because they've been over here longer. So it's like if somebody was to come on St. Barnabas side from us, yeah. new, we'd be like, okay, well, you know, we the people to talk to for real, for real. Oh, or the people that's okay. been over there for longer than that. Yeah. So, Ah, okay. So I'm gonna go back to my social media joint though. So you just really started using when you got here. So you okay? Yeah. So and you've been cut for eight years. Yeah. So eight years. Let's just say seventeen. Let's just say seventeen without social media, because I know for a fact at least fourteen you weren't fucking with it that much. No, because <laughs> that's when I, I met you. So I I know at fourteen you weren't fucking with it, because I've been here for a year. Yeah. I just Stop All right, man. So for the most part, y'all been fucking with social media about the same amount of time. Yeah. Social media is, is, is good. What do y'all want to know your opinion? What should give me your opinion on uh, social media as a barber and how it can be impactful? Okay. How do you think it can be impact impactful before impactful, I wrap it up? And if you're trying to build your too. clientele, yeah. Say yeah, it's the way to go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not waiting for people to come in here to get a cut. You just put up. I got openings. Somebody like, oh, I'm there. That boom, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So they got the online booking and stuff like that. But, like, I, it goes back to relationship. Like, you just don't know who's getting in your chair. You know what I'm saying? And that's, but what it does do, though, and this is if you on point as a business person, mm -hmm. if you on point, it gives you a chance to. That's too. That's why I say it's different. a gift and a curse. I'd rather, I'd rather take the gift. Yeah. Because that's, that's money. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you be like, man, this dude right here blowing me, bro. Keep it a buck, though. Niggas be right. weird. Right. Hold on real quick. Just so that people know. I know that if you go to a barber shop and you think because you a cool nigga in a chair that everybody right. is, that's not the case at all. Right. I got stories from this man, and I'm going to have both of y'all right. tell at least one story oh, about a, 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 some wild shit in the chair. You ain't got to say no names. But you just, oh, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we bought the store. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure I got that off. Because people, I used to get in a chair and think everybody was chill. No. Nah. Like, except for children. You know, I think children would get in the chair and they'd be wild out. But grown ass no, niggas no, be in the chair. Dog, no, no, you crazy. Wild out. I'd be like, man, what? Give me one, Nate. Give me one. Give me one real quick. 
the story off the top of my head that I can think of, for real, for it's probably the worst, not say the worst thing you would think of, but it's like I've been boot gang before. I don't know if everybody knows boot gang. We run off on some Oh, man. I had a little kid run off on me, and that was like one of the worst times ever. I was like so pissed, you know what I mean? Oh, I remember when Lil Shorty did. Yeah, yeah, man. He got my kid. He didn't pull that move on me. I don't know why he felt like it, I was sweet. I don't yeah. know. He thought I was sweet or something. I don't yeah. know, but. I, don't I looked at him like. He ran off on him. Yeah, he ran off a yeah. couple what, times. What about you? What's, what's one crazy episode you had? Um, <laughs> Man, I don't even know. It's <laughs> I know you got one. We man, need one. One? We gotta give we gotta give you gotta give people at least one. And they had somebody run off on them. I ain't know what's like I ain't know that was a real thing for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for I'm real. I used to work next to the door, remember? So Oh you was next yeah, to the door. Right, right now so. I can't even I don't I don't even I don't even wanna go. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. You ain't gotta say no uh, name. I know I'm not, I don't even wanna put the situations out there. Hi, that's a bad. I just the type of dude I am. When you come and talk to me in this chair, yeah, it's yeah. always common. It's common sick as a psychiatrist. Yeah, man. I don't spill the beans, man. I respect. I can't it. even even if it had a name, no face, no I, I, nah, man. I, don't, I ain't seen nothing. I ain't you know hear nothing. Seen no evil. See, hear no evil. <laughs> that's respectful, man. Check this out. Overall, man, I appreciate both of y'all for doing the episode with us, uh, taking the time out of your busy days. It's two men who work for themselves, which is a good thing. You can move as you please. If you want to come in here at 9 tomorrow, you can't. But if you don't, you can come in at 11 if you want to. One thing I want y'all to both know that I do this for two reasons. One, to teach the people that watch something. And two, to teach the people that's doing this something. First off, the information that needs to be provided for the both of you is don't limit yourself on your capabilities. No. You said this is your first time doing some shit like this. You said it's your first time doing some shit like this. Quote, unquote, you're doing some shit like this. Yeah. It don't matter how big it is to scale, the fact that it can be done, and that Brian and Nate did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't nobody take that from you. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about what you had to do, cut for free, et cetera, et cetera, when you talk about what you had to do, learn it from Brian, et cetera, et cetera, that same energy can be applied to making y'all more money on social media. That same energy can be applied to learning how to do design of the shit you write with me about. Oh, yeah. Whatever else you're trying to get better on. That same energy that you use to get to where you are in the chair and where you all are as businessmen right now, because you ain't going to be here forever. It's only going to get better. Yeah. The same energy you put in to learn how to cut hair, I advise y'all niggas to put in to using your phones to make you more money. Because if you're comfortable where you are, cool. Comfortable, be happy, and be life. But if you want more, if you find yourself saying that you want more, well, the devices in y'all niggas' pockets, I can tell y'all firsthand, have made me a lot of, have kept me, y'all niggas know when I was working next to y'all and I left my job and did my own thing, have kept me afloat, my cell phone has. My whole, I ain't rich, but it has kept me afloat. And y'all know me, I haven't lost a thing. You know what I'm saying? My phone does that shit. So when I tell y'all niggas, when I'm sitting around rapping with y'all niggas, I want y'all niggas to know your telephone and that motherfucker's powerful. Yeah. The people that made them phones for us, man, when it comes to getting your money, you can use those devices and it will double your hustle. You know what I'm saying? I do this show because I want people to see, and this is the second part, I do this show because I want people to see what it's like for the people that got there, and you may not know them publicly, but they making a lot of noise out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. Not, not to be in niggas' business, but you living okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, niggas, is y'all, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm trying to live better. And I, I know you're trying to live better, but it's just about the simple fact that you do your own thing, you own your own time, you can go when you want. You know what I'm saying? You can have that for yourself and not be trapped by anybody if you want. Yeah. But if you don't want to, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, and that's the point of the hustle. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody that watch it and see it to understand. Even though all the information that y'all give out, the silver lining of all of it is, yeah. it's because you want to. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It ain't because you got to clock in at four or five. I got y'all ain't got to kick me out early for the interview because y'all got to be back. Yeah. No, if y'all feel like coming in tomorrow till one o'clock, y'all can't. Mm -hmm. That's power, and to me, that's happiness. And people think that it equates to a dollar, but it doesn't yeah. because y'all niggas not rich. Yeah, it's peace of mind. You see what I'm saying? It's peace of mind. It's the ability to live life the way. And that's, I always say that I'm a millionaire, and, my mom. and, my, and just by how people like if you know if you cut hair, you know people everywhere. You always don't get the hook up. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's, it, it's always been like that. I ain't got a lot of money, 
but I got enough to keep me going. You know what and I'm you got, and and you got your time. Time, I got my time. And, you can niggas, that back. and niggas, you can't get that back. Yeah, and yeah. the fact of all of it is yeah. it's extremely simple. If y'all, if your fellas hit you, it don't matter which level he on. Mm -hmm. They say, hey, Brian, we going to. The man going public. Hey Nate, we going to Vegas, etc., etc. Hey, we going across seas. We going to hang out. Both of y'all can answer. I'll be there. Right. That alone, because people want more shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They want what you got, and then they want to be able to buy double that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need that. Right. You just need to be able to. Sh I can show up to the party, yeah. and I'm gonna be comfortable while I'm there, and I ain't gonna need nobody here to do nothing for me. Right. The moment that you have that, you have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. You got freedom. You can do the shit that you need to do. So, I appreciate both y'all niggas for doing you, this. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You, I know both y'all niggas a minute. I got, I got one thing, man. Oh, yeah, whatever. Man. You can get it off. Get it off. Let them know where they can find y'all at. Your social media handles. Okay. Anything you got to do with closing? Close, man. Second right. episode of The Hustle. Um, man. At Little House 30, Instagram, Facebook, Brian Middlehouse. That's the name y'all see right here. Yeah. That's that name. And shout out to my bro up in Philly, man. My big bro, Chink, man. Chink the barber, man. He the one that took me and my cutting up under his wing, man. I appreciate you, bro. Salute. That's good. My man, Nate. My Instagram name is a little different, man. It's Nate Dog spelled backwards, but it's G-W-A-D, the number 8-N. And Facebook, that's just Nate the Matthews under, you know, it's it's the same thing with everything else. Everything, Twitter is Nate Dog spelled backwards, everything, so... Yeah, shouts out to Chink too, man. Big bro. And obviously, it's your boy Frank Miller, Pretty Fly Society, man. I want to say appreciate to y'all boys again. We need a hustle episode two. We'll catch up with y'all.